apart, everybody. Don't drop that fast forward button. The sponsorship roll call is about to begin. Energy Consulting Limited provides complete project management and general contracting services to a variety of private sector clients on both commercial and residential construction projects. They act as the owner's representatives through the planning, design, budgeting, scheduling, construction, and occupancy processes. Clients appreciate their open, honest, and flexible approach to achieving their project goals. Although they're located in Surrey, BC, Energy works on projects all over the province, including the growing cities of the north and the beautiful coastal towns of Vancouver Island. They're always excited to explore new places and develop relationships with professionals wherever their clients' interests may be. Abacus North is a firm that specializes in mortgage banking solutions for complex projects. In addition to providing financing solutions in a traditional mortgage broker capacity, Abacus North provides direct loans that range from $2 million to $25 million. On a syndicated basis, they provide mortgage banking solutions up to $300 million. In most cases, their in-house capital solutions can bridge financing gaps that traditional lenders are unable to service. They specialize in providing land acquisition loans, construction financing for large-scale developments, income-producing properties, and single-purpose facilities. With a portfolio that includes high-rise, mid-rise, and low-rise condominiums, townhouse developments, shopping centers, agricultural properties, industrial developments, and medical marijuana facilities, Abacus North is at the forefront of creative mortgage banking solutions with a focus on fostering long-term relationships. They are a multifaceted organization that services domestic and international clients with their mortgage banking needs. Complex financing solutions require analytical thinking well beyond a typical mortgage broker relationship. As a result, they focus on providing engineered solutions for their client. Their key differentiation strategy is that they assist clients in actively managing the capital stack in order to minimize borrowing costs while maximizing flexibility. Abacus North focuses on national and global opportunities. Ascentia CPA has a team of new-gen chartered professional accountants that are dedicated to advancing companies using expertise combined with emerging technologies. The team at Ascentia will implement the latest accounting technologies, allowing you to not only run a business, but to run a smart business that will excel in your industry. Their focus is to provide growth-centric, value-added, and timely accounting services for businesses as well as individuals across Canada. Unlike standard accounting firms, by embracing cloud-based software, the team at Ascentia will provide you with real-time accounting information on a secure platform that is accessible anywhere at any time, allowing you to make better informed decisions and gain more controlled overview of your financial data. The reliability and expertise you'll experience with the professionals at Ascentia will assist you in the preparation of corporate and personal tax returns, financial statements, bookkeeping, government filings, tax and estate planning, as well as business advisory services. For more information on the advantages of online accounting and to book a complimentary meeting online, be sure to visit ascentiacpa.ca. We are... What is the purpose of being tested? What is the purpose of being tested? on a regular basis? What is the purpose, you know, that people get tested continually all the time? You know, and just because we have the chance and the opportunity and the right as a human being to be able to excel in this environment, like why does it need to be? You know, do we stop to really think about like how many times that we are tested in a day, whether they're, you know, in like a forward facing situation that, you know, like we bring on ourselves or that we don't, or, you know, maybe this is like an accident that we see on the side of the highway that we have to stop and participate in. Maybe this is like, you know, like a divorce, you know, maybe this is, you know, seeing like, you know, somebody have like a really unjust situation where you see like, you know, maybe a couple other people beating up some other person or, you know, maybe you see somebody overdosing. You know, but like we're tested, we're continually tested. We're we're tested on social media, you know, we're tested in our lives, we're tested at our workplace, we're tested in social situations, we're tested at home. You know, but like when does it get to be a point where it's just too much? You know, because 
we are just a product of too much information. We're a product of too much environment. We're a product of too much innovation. And all of these situations and all these environments that we put ourselves in, there's a constant demand to be tested. You know, like you're tested to be able to live up to an expectation. You know, you're tested to defend a position. You're, you know, you're tested to be able to authenticate how you choose to be able to live your life or more importantly, choosing how you don't choose to participate. You know, like all these things where, you know, you think like life used to carry this a lot simpler of a tone, you know, like life used to be at this, this place where, you know, maybe it's this childhood dream that we all kind of fall back onto, or, you know, maybe it's this actual reality that used to exist in a time where we just had less. You know, like, like, think about that. Like, like when you have less, like how many, how many people talk about, you know, like when you have less, you become a lot more rich. When you have less, you have a lot less to worry about. You know, when you have less, you have a lot less to be able to focus on. When you have a lot less, you have clarity to be able to understand what is more important. You know, when I look at this and I've started to really kind of analyze this about how this feels towards me. And you know, when it comes to having like a lot less and connecting with a lot less, the only real thing that again, the only insight that I really understand is, you know, like what's inside my own head? You know, and this is something that I was talking to Bridget about the other day on the podcast. And, you know, we were talking about the fear of, you know, getting with inside yourself, the fear of getting inside your own head, like the fear of just not wanting to participate in your self-righteous journey of being the, the best human being that you can be for yourself. And like, why is that? Why are we so scared? You know, like, why are we so scared to be able to think about what's going inside? Like, why are we so ashamed of like who we might be? And why are we so ashamed of thinking, what am I thinking? You know, why are we so ashamed to be able to have a little bit of self-reflection? You know, like, why are we scared to be able to understand who we are? Why are we embarrassed to be able to tell the world this is me? Again, it's a social standard that, you know, we have to live up to this, this box that we all need to live in, this perspective that we all need to be in, like this, this tone and this attitude that everybody needs to be able to be this same person toting the same line. But you know what? We don't. We have never been. We never will be. We aren't today. We will not be tomorrow. We have not been yesterday. And I think that's a really important perspective to be able to, you know, really bring to the top of the conversation, you know, like the table, this notion, because I get myself in probably the most extreme amount of environments possible that somebody could get themselves in just to truly be able to understand, like, is this different? Do people operate here differently? Do people look at things differently here? Like, like, where are you? Who are you? And how do you operate? How do you think? And what's going on? But I'll tell you the number one thing that I've learned from anywhere from, you know, playing squash with board members of billion dollar companies to, you know, sitting in sweat lodges with people and everything and anything in between that you can think of. I've, I've pretty much done it all by now. The one thing that I will say in all of these environments is that we're all just human beings trying to toe a certain path that we think is the right path. But how many times do we stop to be able to think about, is this the right path? Is this the right path that I'm on? Is this indoctrinated concept of how I've been told to be able to live my life? Is this the only way that I can live my life or is there something else? And if there's something else, what can that, that something else be? And if I do think there's something else, can I be comfortable enough with wanting to adopt that topic and you know that perspective on my own life that I don't have to worry about being judged by other people? We talk about not being judged by other people. We talk about not being judged by society's standards of who we should be in these boxes we should fit in. But how many people really feel a sense of stillness? How many people really feel a sense of resolve? How many people really feel comfortable, you know, in that tone, in that narrative, and in that context? It takes a lot of personal strength. It takes a lot of personal sovereignty. It takes a lot of personal power to be able to be in that position where you feel okay and you feel good and you say, hey, I'm okay to be here. I'm okay to be able to stand in this lane. I'm okay to be able to be perched on this rock because this is, at the end of the day, who I am. This is who I want to be. This is okay. This is okay that we're all different. You know, I don't need to be like you and you don't need to be like me. But the only thing that really brings us back together is we're human beings. And being a human being is just that I want to be loved. 
I want to be able to participate. I want to try to be able to be in my environment. I want to try to try to be able to be these things. This is who I want to be. This is who we all are because you know what? This is the human experience. This is who we are. This is this is people. This is people at the end of the day. Like this is this is real. You know, you can't deny that. You all want to live in a world where there's a million people with a million different perspectives, but we can all bridge the gap because we decide to want just to be able to be loved by the other person standing beside us, our global community. The community that loves and cares for one another and can put our differences aside and understand that there's value in every single human being out there and not try to challenge what that human being may stand for because what they stand for is righteous to them. I don't want my values to be righteous to you. Don't be selfish. Don't be selfish. Don't take my values away from me because you want them to be yours. Don't do that. That's selfish. I don't want that. Don't do that. These are mine. These are selfish for me. I'm going to have them. I'm going to own them. These are mine. Yours are yours. Own yours. Yours are yours because they decide to be able to be a perspective. Yours are yours because they're yours. That's it. Own them, love them, cherish them, nurture them, plant seeds in them, grow them. And the best thing of all, communicate them to other people because they're yours. That's who you are. You are that person. You are that person every single day that you wake up. You're that person every day that you live your life. You're that person every single situation that you get in life. And most importantly, you can go to bed being that person every day and feel, oh, so good. Because that is you. And you should feel good because that is you. And that represents you and that reflects you and that makes you the best you possible. So whether or not you're trying to be grounded, whether or not you're trying to feel stillness, you know, whether or not you're trying to reflect back on who you are, whether or not you're just simply aimlessly walking through life, you're representing you. Do not represent anybody else. Do not represent anybody else's ideal. Do not represent anything else but the most righteous, the most ruthless you that you can be because at the end of the day when you go to rest your head on that pillow the only thing that you ever want to be is just you and nobody else